Hey, what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you guys are here. Welcome in and welcome back if you're returning. My name is Silky Creamy. For those that are new, I do uh, shaving review videos uh, where we get up and close and personal with the products and uh, we take a deep dive and try to get a better idea of what uh, what the products are and if you're considering uh, purchasing it and want to curious to know more details about a product um, that's kind of the genesis of this uh, channel uh, that's really the reason why I started doing this so uh, if you're returning I appreciate you guys so much you guys have no idea I really really do appreciate you all um, we've got a little community here folks and um, we're learning about scents and we're learning about soaps and um, we're getting closer to look uh, we're, we're getting a deeper look at um, the product itself and Oftentimes we're finding things that we didn't really know about and um, some pretty cool things too. And um, the I know the artisans are appreciating these videos because they put a lot of heart and soul into these products and some of them have really put some time and effort into the labels and, um, and into the, the product packaging, which is the product, right? Every aspect is part of the product and so, yeah. We're, we're, we're beginning to see some new things. So anyway, today we're going to be reviewing Cold Spices from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So um, right off the bat, you can see the ship. You can see the name. So this is clearly a homage to Old Spice, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into the label because sometimes we find things we've never seen before. So pretty detailed work on the mass and sails of this ship. Okay, there's the Loch Ness Monster, right? Where's the cube? Is that the cube? Is that the Woolly Mammoth? big waves happening here this may be pre-cube this label may be pre-cube interesting so this thing is pulling the ship on the ice so it's standing on ice and it's pulling the ship oh it's pretty cool Music was irritating. Sorry. CK6. So, this is a vegan line, folks. Let's take a look for the first time. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Some nice cratering happening in this. Um, you know, the canyons that are typical for CK6. Nice color. But this has more... Um, um, yeah, interesting pour. Let's do our first scent. Let's first smell. Hmm. Yeah, this is Old Spice. This smells like the old Old Spice. I'm not sure what formula. We'll find out. I'm sure he's gonna put it in in the um, on uh, he has it listed on the website. But this is definitely old school, old spice. It smells really good. Um, this smells like what my father used to wear. Um, so this is yeah, really good vintage. All right, let's go ahead and read. So he writes, um, boom, another Phoenix shaving classic. Now in formula CK6, cold spices. It says, prepare for a mentholated twist on a real classic. Oh, interesting, there's menthol. He goes, uh, note, soap is lightly mentholated. 
scent profile, orange, spices, aldehydes, sage, and clary sage, carnation, geranium, heliotrope, cinnamon, and pimental berry, ambergris, frankincense, vanilla, cedarwood, musk, benzoin, and tonka. He writes, many folks know by now I am a bay rum kind of guy, probably going on 15 years, but not many know. I was once a wearer of Old Spice as well. That's right, this was my first aftershave at the tender age of 15. I can remember many a girl turning around in freshman algebra or history or chemistry to tell me I smelled of their dad. <sighs> I had to jump ship fast. But alas, Procter & Gamble had their way with the original Shelton formula and the modern rendition of the cologne is hardly a shadow of its former self. For those following the Agartha Trilogy, trilogy this is part of the saga be it supplemental there you go interesting as always right he's got those other things going on um part of the backstory let's go ahead and smell the aftershave okay so typical label Ooh, no reducer on this guy no orifice reducer. Wow, this smells exactly like um, like old uh, old spice. I don't know how he does it. It's always so complex. It's always like just I don't know how he can put together these scents. They're just, they smell so good. And how do you know like how many ratios? And I don't know. This guy is a master. Douglas is amazing. Anyway, this is Cold Spices, guys. This is your Old Spice rendition. Homage to the old Shelton formula. So as always, I appreciate you folks stopping by. If you guys have tried this one, let me know. I'm going to be trying this pretty soon. I didn't realize there was some myth on here. But uh, it smells wonderful. It smells exactly like Old Spice. So as always, as always take care of one another. Be safe out there. Be cool this summer, and as always, um, try and make someone's day today or tomorrow, right? Let's try and do that. All right, take care, folks. Peace.